Ooh, time got away with me on that last one, but if, as you can see, I positioned the eyelids, and I even used like the E to rotate them a little bit. And then once you get it in position, you just copy and paste it over to the other eye so that you have two eyelids, okay? Then the last few steps that you need to do for quad draws, for one thing, you need to give a material to your dog. So I will go ahead and do a Lambert because I don't think dogs should be shiny. And then I'll choose, you know, choose a color. And then you assign that same color, assign existing material. Oh, I should have named it, but at least I named everything else, so it's easier for me to say, oh yeah, Lambert 3, because I just made that. Okay, so there's my eyelids. Now you need to make the dog's nose separate, so I'll have to go into face mode for this. This is one of those examples of when, if I would made the nose a completely separate object, it would be nice. So I'm going to use this lasso tool so that I can kind of draw around the nose. And maybe I missed some. Yeah, see, it, it doesn't always get them perfectly, but at least it saved me some time from having to select every single one of them by hand. And it's kind of tricky to tell which one I've selected since this is sort of the color of my dog. Assign a new material. I'm going to go for a Lambert again. I'll name this one while I'm here so I don't forget. Nose. And typically dogs' noses are black. I guess some are pink and stuff, but based on the breed of dog that I've got, I'd say my nose is going to be a black nose. Okay. So go to object mode, click away. Now when you take the picture, I need to be able to see that the nose is still like distinguished, it's not a part of the snout. I also need to see that you've made eyelids, that you've colored the eyes, and that you have the paws and that I can see the tail. I pretty much need to see everything, the ears. So when you take the picture, it might be best, see the ears aren't really visible there but everything else is. I could maybe zoom back just a little bit and try it again. And that's probably show. I can see the toes, I can see that there's a tail, I can see the ears, I can see the eyelids, I can see the green eyes and the black. I can't quite, it's, I think I can tell that the nose is there, but it's tricky. It might be best if you're having a hard time, just take two pictures. Okay, like, hey, look, side view of the dog. Yeah, see, the nose completely disappears because it's black. Easy fix for this would be make a sphere. Make it very large, and then just go ahead and go to the mesh display and reverse it. Because then when you take your picture of the dog, there's that gray background. So now things are sticking out. So side view, save it, and then maybe take another one from the front. And you know, you can, since I've already seen some of it, make sure I can see the toes, eyes, eyelids. Take a picture of that, okay? And go ahead and save it, and you could just turn that in.